Uh, that's kind of interesting. What is Dark Diary? <laughs> okay. All right. So then I'm up there. Uh, I guess. Oh, right. I just need to go north. I guess. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're working through that. Uh, and I want to play Revelations 2 as well. And the reason for that is because there's a Resident Evil anime coming out. And I was like... I, I'm just... I gotta finish the series. I gotta do it. I watched the two films over the over the weekend I watched uh, damnation I already I already saw degeneration so I didn't need to rewatch that one but I needed to watch damnation I'd never watched it and uh, vendetta I'd, both of which I remember being really excited about and then I never watched them the gypsies purveyors of distrust and superstition most of their babble should be taken with a pinch of salt since the gypsies often tinker with weary travelers minds However, a few gypsies have something interesting to say. Okay, I can enter these tents. Notable, notable, notable. Uh, yeah, so Damnation... Damnation's pretty good. It brings back the, uh, the T-103s, which is really cool to see in the, in the liquors. Kind of has a cool little story. Um, but I can kind of see, like... Like, watching those sheds a little light on, like, what they were trying to do with RE6. You know, because that I feel like those movies have, like, a similar vibe to it. Which makes me think that RE6 might have been better as a film. Um, you know, because it... It just seems to be kind of like those very much, you know? I don't know what I'm trying to say. There are benefits to traveling beneath a human, guys. The threat to my person is lessened and much information can be gleaned. However, the illusion is flimsy and any act of aggression on my part can break the spell. Hmm. Okay, I'm testing out my my human form. Kind of cool, uh, but nobody attacks me. Okay, is that the only benefit? He said I could maybe talk to people. Vasabunt lay, its glory now stained and faded, a faithful child in the looming shadow of Nupraptor's retreat. Yeah, it seems like we're going to. Oh god, oh there's a hole. Yeah, okay. Um yeah, I'm gonna transform back and kill this guy. Actually I'm just gonna kill him. Okay, it's not working. Something is amiss. The wagons from Avon has just never turned up. Oh. I actually can talk to people. The trading caravans from Avernus did not show up this week. Very strange, you know. <laughs> okay. This is kind of fun. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Damn it. they're all really good. I, I really like the CGI Resident Evil films. I think they're really fun. And, uh, yeah, I just, I, I need a complete understanding of the lore, you know? 
I used to have it, but, but after... After I think RE5, I lost the plot a little bit. Um, but it does seem to be, like, all very, like... Now there's, like, a million... There's so many different outbreaks. You know, because it used to be there were, like, three big ones. And I remember them. You know, what they would talk about in the lore. But nothing more than that. Um, but now there's been, like, so many. You know? So many. Too many to count. Um, and that seems to be, like, where the plot was kind of going before they kind of, uh, pulled it back in RE7 and RE8. Where magic extends into very exotic disciplines, such as the manipulation of time. I am able to slow time down so I can move about quick as a wolf, while all others move as though they were mired in mud. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Um, yeah, so it's going it's going in the direction of like a worldwide outbreak, and I think that was the culmination that RE6 was supposed to be. Um was kinda like the big one, you know. This is the big one. The worldwide one, you know, that involves all the characters. And uh I don't know. I haven't finished it yet, so I don't wanna talk too much shit about it just yet, but, uh, yeah, I still need to finish all the campaigns, and then I'll finally be almost caught up, because I still need to do Revelations 2, it's the only other one I've never played. And yes, I played, well, okay, I'm lying slightly, because I never played Dead Aim, but I did, I did play all the other ones, I played Outbreak, I played Survivor, you know, I played Code Veronica, I've literally played, I, I used to be, like, a mega fan. I swear to God. Up until like RE6, and then I kind of like stopped. But I never, I never did play Dead Aim. That was the only one that I like, I kind of missed. Uh, just because, no reason for it. I just never, never bought it. I think I looked for it at some point and never was able to find it. So I just kind of like just didn't ever play it. Um. So I, I do need to find that at some point and play. I'll probably see if maybe I can play that on the channel if I, if I can get a copy. I, I'm sure I can. It's just going to be a matter of trying to find that copy. But I haven't really been looking for it. Um. Oops. Getting a lot of these time-slowing things. Can I break this? I don't know which ones I can break and which ones I can't. Man, these guys are tough. That's what I'm gonna read this one. Poor Hagen. Yeah, and then there was uh, Vendetta. Vendetta I remember being excited about because one of the big reveals was that Rebecca was in it. Which is cool because, uh, okay. Uh, she hasn't been in the series since, literally since RE0. Well, RE0 and the, re she was in RE1, obviously. Um, you know, but that's like the last time we ever saw her and she just never came back, even though we know she survived. She was one of the four survivors of the of the uh, Ma Spencer Mansion and stuff. By the way, they mention in that movie they 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 call her a survivor of Raccoon City, which I felt it was weird for her to say because I'm like you 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 weren't. I mean, she could have been, I guess, in the, one of the only other stars members in Raccoon City still when the outbreak happened. The only one that we know of was Jill, so I don't know why. Rebecca would have been there and not, you know, been mentioned at any point. Um, it's possible, I guess. But she wasn't technically a part, unless you count the Spencer, the Spencer Mansion incident as the Raccoon City outbreak. I guess you could. I guess, you know, you could do that. Because it was kind of the, the start of it. But, uh, you know... 
Like, the Raccoon City outbreak didn't happen until, like, October of, uh, of that year. And, and uh, you know, the Spencer Mansion incident was, like, July, I think. Hey, Victor! So they're not the same thing. They're two separate incidents. You know, and she probably left, was out of town during the actual outbreak in Raccoon City, so... Which is kind of an odd, you know, little thing to say, I thought. I did used to be a mega fan, I promise. I, 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 I used to, I used to spend a lot of time on the wiki, checking out the wiki, and like, uh, I helped with it a little bit. Um, but now there's probably a lot of shit on there that I don't know anything about. Um, which I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to change that. Um, I feel like I should probably know about most of it. But I, I feel like the scope and scale of it has gotten so big that there's a lot of stuff that I just don't care about. You know? A lot of stuff that's just like, oh, the, yeah, that one character from... Degeneration or whatever, you know, one of the movies that I like, I, yeah, important. <laughs> Uh, you know what I mean? Hey, Victor! <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're really fun movies, though. Uh, Vendetta was did get a little bit silly in the action scenes, though. I think it was a little silly, a little over the top, but I kind of liked. I kind of liked that. I kind of loved that. I, I kind of like when they do that in RE is to just like go really over the top with it and do silly shit. Go go full anime with it. A lot of people expect Resident Evil to be kind of realistic, and it just isn't. It just re it really isn't. There's a lot of times where they do. It's just ridiculous. I remember people used to make fun of the. The like boulder scene from this Resident Evil 5. Like an enemy, rot and decay would instantly eat their flesh and leave only a pool of blood and tissue. For a time after, the toxins are still active and therefore lethal to the touch. Um, what did I pick up? Uh, probably that, I guess. No, it's this thing right here. Okay, well, I got that now. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. Every time I play one of those, I'm like, I'm just like so invested in it. It's just like, yes, new, new lore. I love lore, man. I'm a big, I'm a big lore guy. Big fan of lore. <laughs> Over my vacation, I read a <clears throat> I read a Doctor Who novel. It was called Byzantium, which I read in the article in the uh, in the in the wiki, uh, you know, sort of in the wiki page about the book that it was actually supposed to be a an alternate telling of the Romans serial. Help but smile. And I was like, oh, that's weird. Someone else in this world was suffering more than I. Uh, cause that's not how I interpreted it at all. I was like, oh, it's just another tale, but then it's supposed to, it's supposed to be that. It's supposed to actually be like kind of a prelude to, to it. I did not realize that. It kind of made sense, but at the same time, it didn't really. Um, but there was another short story that like kind of contradicts it. Anyways, so, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like it's more of a separate thing. More of a separate thing. It was actually pretty good, though. I kind of enjoyed reading that one. And I had a good time there. Uh, <clears throat> what's in here? Oh, it's the captain. It's the, it's the barracks. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that. Okay. 
That was cool. Victor! Uh, hello. You know what might be cool here? You know what might be cool here? Is if I use my human form. This might be epic. Hey, dude. Don't venture around here without a good blade at your side. You take me for it. Okay. Hey, Accursed gypsies. Bring in their wicked magic. No Scoth will never be the same. The mage is insane, I tell you. Insane. Listen, can't you hear him cackling to himself? That lunatic on the hill. It's not right that we good people have to put up with his magic. Something has to be done. I agree. I'm pushing this chair. Sometimes. If you listen carefully, you can hear screams echoing from within. <coughs> I ain't never been up there, nor would I ever. Good day to you. Good day. Good day to you. I don't know what that did, but I, I flipped the switch. Flip the switch. Hell, stranger. What could I get you today? Bye. Oh, that was low-key kind of chill. Oh, Babe Victor! Give me your blood. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll use that. The gaping moor of Nupraptor's retreat rained upon Nosgoth all his pain and misery. The disease begged to be cleansed. Okay. Uh, I guess this is our man here. This is our bro. Yep, there he is. Nupraptor. Oh, this is so cool. I'm actually kind of a big fan of this right now. Kind of digging this. Kind of chill about this. Uh, let's go. Oops, that's the wrong button. Damn it, I need their blood and I keep killing them. It's hard not to spam the button though, you know. All right, there's two caves here, though. Interestingly, I've noticed. Uh, let's just enter this. Okay, this one's just a save point. All right. <clears throat> let's save. Oh, no. Okay, no, it does go further. Okay. Uh, let's check over here. A better weapon or get stronger or something like what's the deal oh. okay well that was free Ugh. see ya see ya oh god I'm dying all right cool all right let's continue on our adventure to this dungeon. Um, so can I kill that? <laughs> Alright, I'm not sure how I was supposed to dodge that. The mentalist Nupraptor was renowned through Nosgos for his tricks of the mind, telepathy, and telekinesis. 
Pilgrims travelled from all across the land seeking the comfort of his lies. I sought not his wisdom, but his life. Sorry, I've completely forgotten how to play. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So it's been it's been a little it's been a little while, it's been a few weeks. Uh, at the start of this episode, I was talking about uh, not. I actually was talking about not having fin fuck, finished Resident Evil Six yet. I actually finished it uh, a little a, a little while ago. I think uh, it was last weekend. So I'm now very much aware of it um and I have a bit to say about it uh, <clears throat> it's really not a good game um, <laughs> like at all I think maybe I just have to be the wolf form I don't know if I can fuck oh my god they're working out for me <laughs> God, it's too fast. Oops, wrong button. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, so. Uh, it's got four campaigns. I keep pressing the wrong button. Um. And I think the best one is probably the Leon campaign. It's the only one that's like halfway decent. Uh, but the other campaigns are somewhat atrocious. I will mention that the game's kind of... Like, it's just not really a good game, but it's kind of unplayable without a second partner. Now, I managed to do the Leon campaign without it. Uh, without a second partner regularly, but I could... The, the Chris campaign was so frustrating and poorly built for just one person uh, because it just overwhelms you with enemies and these enemies all have guns and so it's like of course you're, you, you have to you kind of have to use your ammunition but it just the game literally doesn't give you enough I had way too many times where I just I was stuck in, a, in an area and I just didn't have this, like I just didn't have any ammo there's nothing I could do it was awful um, and it was so frustrating and stupid. Um, but that was the situation I found myself in. Um. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty terrible. It's not really a good game. Uh, but I think it's okay with a, with a second, with a partner. It's like, it's okay. It's a, it's an alright game. You can play it. You can have probably a decent time, but... It's just not really great, gameplay-wise. Um, yeah, one of the annoying things they do is that they they give you like skill points. So it's a skill point is like a drop. Um, so you can get skill points from crates and stuff. But the problem is like when you want ammunition, the game seems to like give you skill points way more often than it gives you ammunition so like it's the most annoying thing when you get like a skill point and you wanted like you're out of ammo you're out you're dying all right you is this gonna be the boss intrude upon my sanctuary can i not mourn in peace leave leave and let my solitude be complete no how hard is this guy going to be to take? Oh, not very hard at all. Okay. Oh, no, these are not him. Okay. Alright, well, I'm out of magic. Um... 
there is a doorway here. I can't open it though, seemingly. There might be a switch somewhere. Uh, but yeah, overall, I got through it. Um, but it, I actually did have a decent time when I started, when I turned on partner join and I actually couldn't get, I never would get matched with anybody from my home region was the problem. So, so like I had to go to, uh, I had to allow all regions or else I didn't get a match and that was really annoying, but I did have some... People were generally pretty cool. Damn it, this is another one of those puzzles that I just have to guess on. I don't understand it, man. So that's how it was before. So what if I only unlock that one? Is that it? I I have to go all the way back to figure that out if it worked or not. Nope. <sighs> okay. Yeah, and then there's the Ada campaign. Uh, okay, no, it does have a sound. Okay. Which is pretty... Uh, it's okay, I don't know. I didn't really like the game. I thought, you know... It has its, it has its moments where it, you're, you're kind of having a good time, but overall... I liked the story overall. I was like, okay with the story, but the gameplay was just like a step down from every other game. And kind of disappointing, and the way they set it up so that you... Uh... You know, the whole skill point system was really annoying. Like, those should have been... Like, you get skill points from, like, killing stuff instead of, like, them being a drop. Oh. Alright. Ow. Alright, bro. Oh, please. Help me, time, sir. Oh. Um, I came upon one of Nupraptor's serving girls, catatonic with fear, choking out half words through bloodied, broken teeth. Although tempted by hunger, I stayed my hand, allowing her to tell her story. She spoke of her lord, Nupraptor, driven to insanity by the brutal slaying of his beloved Ariel. She spoke of his self-mutilation, sewing his eyes and lips shut to deny the outside world. Fueled by despair and hopelessness, he turned his magic on the circle, infecting their minds with his madness. Nupraptor cared for nothing now, save his pathetic self-pity. Scars such as hers would never heal. Death would only be a mercy. <laughs> Okay. Um, alright, later. Thank you for the info.